Hey, you down here? Okay, so uh, test number two today. Uh, getting ready to do a live stream. And uh, I noticed, first thing I noticed was my audio on the SM58 was when I talked really low, I was kind of mumbling anyway, but when I got talked low, normally it all, it picks up really well with the way I always had it set before, but it was, I wasn't able to hear myself when I was talking low. But the overall volume seemed pretty good. So I did. I added uh, OBS has compression and noise gate and all kinds of cool filters you can add. I added a compressor filter uh, because I thought, you know, it's actually, well, when you're doing live sound, that's, uh, that's one of the cool things to, one of the very helpful things to do is if you have enough equipment, <laughs> You can add, of course, on a bigger board, but you can have a compressor on each vocal channel. Or, or, or I never had more than like three, four, maybe compressors. So maybe I do. I mean, if you have two or three vocal channels, then each one of them gets a compressor. And let's say that's all you got, and you can't do the guitars or bass or anything. Um, and so then I would put one on the main output and insert one on the main output. So basically, that's kind of what I'm doing. I have a Compressor and a noise gate and some effects, and it goes, you know, no compression, no nothing in this board. There's nothing. I don't have a uh, effects unit. I don't. I'm not using the. There is an insert for uh, effects, but I'm not using it that way because it works better if you daisy chain it with some in this kind of situation. Um, so everything coming out of the board goes through this compressor and noise gate, and. Uh, it's this that same effects and, and the effects I'm using is just to really cut out echo. It's called a reverb, but uh, it's to make it sound good for talking. And then it goes to the computer to OBS Studio and OBS Studio. I already was using a, a compressor on uh, the Wi-Fi mic on Audio Cam Three, and uh, <clears throat> so I was, I went ahead. I thought, you know what? Why not just add one to this too? Sometimes you can overdo it, and it'll and it'll cause what was happening be shutting off you know the lower sounds will get shut down the quieter sounds will get clipped cut off but it didn't sound clipped it just got really low so well that's what a compressor would do if it was working right it wouldn't sound clipped so if your compression set too too hard and you, it'll clip off words and stuff and actually that you get the same effect like if you just don't have your gain up enough on the input to your effects unit so i did let's see well i turned up the the volume on the SM58 a little bit, and I kind of watched the signal on LBS, and it looked like it was just too hot because the last recording I did, actually, uh, well, the SM58 was fine, uh, but it, uh, when I was talking on my dual lapels through the through the uh, Bluetooth, it was it was distorting every time I, especially every time I got a little bit louder if I put my head down. I don't have them. Uh, I'm not. Those are turned off on the mixer. See, they're both on the mixer, so. I have to, you know, well, I can do them both, but they're they're not. There's a pretty big delay on the uh, on the Bluetooth mic, so I mean, you can't sound hard. You drive you crazy. So anyway, let's see if the SM. See, I'm going to test all the rest of the mics. So let's do not Endoscope. Well, there's Endoscope and, and Camera Four, and it's working. Okay, from a while ago it. Uh, Decided to switch itself to a different input, which wasn't anything there, just a regular. I don't know why it did that, but I, I got it back on and I uh, went ahead and uh, shut OBS and opened it back up. So to make sure that's it's kind of a weird. A lot of programs have gone to that kind of thing. They, a lot of them, most of them that that don't have a save button or an OK button will will when you change settings will just automatically save, you know, pretty quickly. Like every 20 or 30 seconds, uh, some of them do it as soon as you close that that area that you're in. You know, that. This one, if uh, anything goes wrong and uh, you don't, it doesn't close normally, and that is, you know, hasn't happened for several years now. Like, uh, maybe once or twice, but anyway, it used to happen sometimes, and you lose all the settings you did. Uh, but if you exit, you know, close OBS and open it back up, that saves the set. Uh, so if I've got any do a bunch of setting changes, I go ahead and do that, and that's what I've been doing. I've been changing a lot of stuff. So I'm gonna I'll sh I'm planning on kind of showing that in the video. Uh, so I went ahead and went to the desktop and open uh, and uh, so that I could show my changes in the. Uh, so over here, see that the Cam 
three is muted. So first, let's switch to the other lapel mics. All right, let's see. Should be somewhere right in there. Check. Maybe a little more. Hello, check, check. Yeah, sometimes it looks like it's too. Uh, <clears throat> I was I was pushing it too much last time. Well, this and it could be that you can't just go by the meters. You have you really need to listen. So let's try that right now. Um, maybe that'll help me. It's hard to listen and get a lot out of it. It's hard to hear well enough uh, because when I turn on my speakers, I get. To hear it, I get echo. I got out my headset and I plugged it into. See, my audio is going through the through my sound card. Oh, it has an audio. It has a sound card built into it, and it goes over HDMI to the TV, then back to my patch band into my my amplifiers to my speakers. And so I thought, well, maybe I better use my headset as much as I don't like messing with it. Uh, my head my headphones that I have are actually for audio mixing. They're flat response headphones, so they are good. Uh, but when I plugged them in to that uh, USB, I said, well, I can plug them in with a Y up there to my uh, patch bay, and they sound good. But they're going through the TV, and it has, uh, they don't call it compression or noise gate or anything, but it has uh, automatic leveling. I think they call it ALS or something. Uh, automatic leveling system, maybe that is what they call it. But anyway, it works pretty good. I really like it. Uh, but it can also fool you because it's fixing whatever's wrong. I realized that. I thought, you know what? If I'm listening to it through the TV, then it's fooling me. You know, it's going to it's gonna cut down the signal enough. If I'm doing it live, you know, it's going to cut down the signal uh, enough that I won't hear it. So uh, the trouble that I might be having, the distortion and stuff. So, uh, but, it's, but the recording is going to get it, you know. So I plug in the headphones, and actually it sounded didn't sound like it normally does. It sounded all tinny and didn't sound right. And then I, uh, and, and that, the, I've used that, the sound, so I'm using that USB, I'm talking about, I'm using, for this, I was using the USB. Um, uh, I thought, okay, I'll use the USB sound card because the audio output's just not even plugged into anything. So I plugged a cable into it, and it, my extension cable, and plugged the headphones into it. And, I'll, and uh, then I uh, decided, well, I don't know why. I guess I just I was having, well, it was hurting my ears, and I took it off. It, it hurts my head. And I, t I did it for a long time. I had it on for a long time, and I took it off. And then I thought, well, I'm just going to listen to the speakers. And then I realized, well, I want to monitor my live stream on my other computer, my Lenovo. And so I plugged in the headphones into it because it doesn't have any sound plugged into it now since I got uh, well, I disconnected everything from the patch bay. It has a cable just hanging loose up there, because uh, when it, for some reason that computer it works fine all by itself. But if you plug it in uh, to the patch bay with the other computer, any other computer plugged in, it uh, it causes buzz noise. <coughs> I don't know what it is about that thing, because it doesn't do that when it's in there by itself. So anyway. I was back to, so I'm back to listening to the, I just realized, okay, so now I'm back to listening through the TV, and I'm going to be fooled. Um, maybe. So, but if I play my, but one way I can tell is record it, and then listen back to it, and that'll tell, that'll tell the true tale. So let's listen to it, pay more, don't push it too much on the meters, and uh, now which one am I? Well, actually, I can put it in listen. I can put it in listen. I can put it in listen. <laughs> Of course, don't have your volume up. Of course, too. don't have your volume. Of course, don't have your volume. Too loud. Here we go. Instantly feedback. Check. Check one, two. Because I'm only like. Because I'm only like. Two and a half feet from my speaker. Two of from my speaker. So, so uh, that's the dis. That's the dis. Disadvantage of doing it this way. I have to keep it so low that I can't really hear it. Okay. Um, I see just a tiniest bit of red when I do that. Oh, I'm on the. Okay, so that is that is the. Uh, that's why I get more delay because it delays. 
Okay, now what? Check one, two, check, check, check one, two. How are you doing here? Hey, check. There we go. Check one, two, check one, two. Too much. Okay, check. I'm going to go to the other mic. I also have my uh, also have my uh, Wi-Fi mic on on Cam Three, so I've got that Cam Three and Cam Two in my in my bag that I carry my audio phones in. <laughs> and let's go ahead and and let's go ahead and check one two check one two. That was both of them. That's <laughs> fifty eight. Check one two. It's not giving near the signal. <coughs> Let me go back to. Um, I already gained it some too. I gained it another five decibels, and I don't really. I'm worried about overdoing it. Um, it it's trickier with these uh, other kind of mics. They uh, these what these lapel mics. They, Day, especially since you know if you turn your head down your volume gets grows up a whole lot and that's where I was getting my distortion if I talked fairly loud or put my head down like that then I was getting distortion on the uh, I was getting distortion on the uh, I was using I'm talking about that I've got them all three on I've got the single lapel going to phone three and then the dual lapels are going to uh, to the mixer through the Bluetooth adapter. Okay, so uh, <clears throat> I'm going to listen to this one, make sure uh, that it seems like a. Yeah, it's uh, it's different when I added a, this this lapel mic. Now I have to actually mix. What I've been doing is just set it and forget it, you know, because I know exactly where I could set things. I didn't even have to listen every time when I started. I would just put the the S and fifty eights and all this stuff was so consistent as it was that uh, I could set it. I could look on the board on a more. That's not the way you mix. You listen. That's how you mix. But um, I, could, I, I had done a lot of listening and, and made lots of videos, and so I knew I could put it in that same spot on the board. And there are sometimes other factors that can change. You bump something or just different things. And uh, but it uh, got me once in a while cable problems or whatever but uh, anyway and watch the meter and then you know I know we're pretty well well that's in 58 where it, it's it's more easy to judge what you see on the meter is what you get but, uh, with the lapels well you're closer to them you can see in the picture I'm closer to them so you don't have to get you, you know the and the SF58 is just better at handling when you get louder and not distorting than the lapels are I mean, S58, uh, you can usually get them on a sale for $100 for the last 20 years. Um, and and I've never used a mic. The only mic I ever used that I like better for vocals than the singing or talking than the S58. And I've used other brands, Sennheisers and stuff. Audio te Well, Audio Techno Wireless, but they had S58 heads on them. But anyway... Um, The, the uh, yeah, beta 58, the, the beta, uh, SM58 beta. That one has got a whole lot better. It's great for live, loud, you know, when you've got really loud instruments. and uh, You can gain it more so that you can hear the uh, vocalist, especially if you've got someone that doesn't sing very loud or talk very loud. You can gain it a whole lot more without it feeding back. <clears throat> so that's, I never did buy one of those. I thought about it, but I didn't really need one. And, I think back then when I bought, I bought some mics back in about 96 or to 8 or something like that. I bought five of them, 58s, and uh, <clears throat> um, I decided not to spend, you know, like 200, 200 I don't know, probably around 160 $75. Uh, they had gone down a little bit. They had been out a few years by that time. Anyway, um, let's go see what this sounds like. So that's everything that I, and let's go from cam four. I cannot hit anything with this mouse. 
I really cannot stand the mouse. There's one good thing about it on this huge monitor. It it'll travel the whole. It, it moves too fast and too far, and I don't like I don't like that on a normal you know 23 inch monitor. But on this 49 inch TV, it actually I can move the whole thing without getting off my mouse pad. I'm constantly having to pick up my uh, my Microsoft mouse, my big one. I like, but I like the way it moves better. Uh, and it's not, I've tried and tried to change them out. There's not enough mouse settings in Fedora 32 to, there's plenty, but not to change the, how far it travels, how fast, you know, change how fast it moves, but not how far it travels. And I guess it's probably set the way I have it set. It's probably a little too, making this even faster, a little by a little bit, this, this mouse, you know, but, uh, anyway, I, the problem is, is it, it doesn't click where it looks like you're going to click. Or what I'm used to from the other one, anyway. So I'm clicking above it, I think. That time I hit it. Maybe I'm just my eyes are tired. <laughs> Maybe my eyes are tired, and I'm not hitting what I think I'm hitting. It might be just me. Okay, so, uh, but I've always had trouble with it. I hardly ever 